one we are going live oh my goodness gracious me and there's millie mary mary millie far out great to see you honey bun and uh you know they say don't ever take a break from social media because you just you know, but I had a wonderful time off and I'm going to tell everyone all about it in a couple of minutes. Getting my eyesight on. Woo! Deborah, welcome. So good to see you, honey. Yes, it makes my heart sing. Tina Marie, so very happy to see you girls. Share it out with your people. And it just may be just us tonight. Who knows? All right. So tell us the city you're from. Number one, so we'll just get in the habit of it all. Suzanne, look who's there. Whoa, okay, it's like old, oh, I was gonna say old home week, but I would say more old miracle week. So much to catch up on, and I just wanna give us all a, a chance to catch up. Okay, so let me know where everyone's from so everyone else knows, so we just get back in the groove, but also, why don't you tell us on a scale of one to 10, hmm, tuning in to how much has happened in the past, oh my God, it's it's been a long time. I'm actually trying to remember when my last broadcast was. I think it was forever ago. My God, I really do. I cannot even begin to fathom when I stop my show. Probably Tina Marie would remember. But so much has happened since then, not just for me personally, but the planet, all the shifts, the, um, the change in energy dramatically with regards to, to um, recovery. Are we recovering? Are we getting out there? Are we up? Are we down? Are we in? Are we out? Are our cities thriving? Is our country thriving? And we're really in a time when it's not thriving outside of us. So one of the biggest things for us to do is to really start to clarify where we really are, say, on a scale of one to ten and and where our energy and frequency is. So you, you guys got that. So knowing that 10 is, okay, it's all the way over here, the meter, and our energy can be anywhere in between. What is your vibrational frequency when you feel into it now? Does that make sense? Understanding that one of the biggest things for us is to recognize our own energy as opposed to other people's energies. So, yes, we're walking the miracle path. I, I've gone through a lot of shifts as to even how we're gonna be recording these. So I will clue you in. One of the things I did is I took a class on how to grow your YouTube channel, okay? And it, it's a big deal. So I have, have over 200 videos on my YouTube channel, but almost no subscribers. Well, now I have 114. So I'm going to ask you all to subscribe and help us out there. But there's 200 plus videos. And I took a class on how to reach your tribe through YouTube, how to build your YouTube channel and, and create content that people want. So 200 videos, but not a lot of people have seen them, you know, over the last 10 years, 5,000 views. So I really started focusing on making content that people want to see and creating new videos. And so I'll be doing new videos on everything. I'll be doing upgraded videos on how to receive miracle messages. So I did a video two weeks ago, how to connect with your angels. And as of now, I had 45 views, which is the most views I've ever had. But it was, and it's different because it's not live. So one of the things on, on my personal miracle path, and one of the things we're looking for is what, what have you done to shift things in your life 
and to move your vision forward. So those are things we I want to look at tonight. You know, how are you moving your vision forward? Um, and and what's your energy? Are you walking the miracle path? Do you need alignment to walk your miracle path? Does that make sense? Is the energy of the outside world impacting you? So give me some feedback. And I'm so happy you missed me. I missed you all too. And uh, yeah. So the videos that I'm doing now, for instance, this Miracle Monday is going to be available for 48 hours. And then I'm going to take it and take it off of Facebook and put it up on YouTube, just so you know. All right, all dedicated. So which one of you is going to go check out my YouTube channel? I've got the cutest videos up on there that I know that you would like. In fact, I'll show you, and not just the videos. Of course, it's not about the videos, but it's also it's about the content. And I think I've made some pretty good new content. If I can find it, I would show you. Um, well, this is a video, but... But you could see, really? Oh, here it is. Okay. Show in the stream. Oh, it's still loading. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I want to show you so you have an idea. Because the theme is how do we shift our life? How do we move forward fearlessly? How do we step into our destiny, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Okay. And that's, that's huge. How do we step into our destiny? How do we, you know, given everything that's changed out in the world, how do we still do our, do us, do what we came here to do, walk our miracle path. And people are still, you know, struggling with that, looking for that, figuring it out, how that's going to happen. Here's a thumbnail I did. Okay. I'm looking for the thumbnails just so you could see them. Um, so you can see some of the titles. Gosh, they're just not showing. I have no idea why not. Okay. Well, brand new computer since then too. So they should be showing, but they're not. Do I let that stop me? No. So the miracle path is one where we are unstoppable. So who here has a vision? All right. I don't see any comments. Am I still live? Okay, so I was asking you ladies and gentlemen a few questions, one of them being, what is your vision? I'm, I'm about to ask that one, but where is your energy frequency right now on a scale of one to 10? So are you feeling the energies of the outside right now? Are you feeling empowered? You're a 10, raring to go. Are you kind of going, oh my God, so many things are happening out there. What in the world is it? What's really going on? All right. So I am looking to see any comments. I'm not seeing it on my Joan of Angels page. All right. Well, I'll comment all I want. <laughs> okay. So I don't see. Oh, here they are. Okay. This one where perfect. we are unstoppable. All right. Perfect. I'm not seeing um, on this page, which is which is a little disappointing. Okay, great. Here you are. All right, perfect. So I see we have Louisville, Texas, suburb of Dallas. You know, I've been thinking of Dallas. Okay, Tina Marie tells me it was the end of June. So it's been a month. Oh my God, it feels like forever. And sharing with us, okay, I was feeling low and meditating. Now I'm at add an eight. And the key is taking time out for me. So I'm looking at all your responses, Suzanne, Millie, because it helps me gear it up. One of the things that I'm really aware of is that to walk our miracle path, it's, ha it's like having blinders on, okay? Blinders that allow us to tune in to where we're going and not get distracted by where we're not going. So there's a lot of drama going on. Uh, it's easy to get lost on your Twitter or on your, your YouTube or on your emails and, you know, on Facebook. Oh, my God, this is happening. This is happening. The news here and there. 
but we know that that's not healthy for us because what it does is it sways us. So walking the miracle path is sort of saying, okay, we have to be aware of the outside world because of course we all walk in the outside world. We walk our path, we walk to work, we walk to the grocery store, we do all that. So we have to be aware, but blinders on when it comes to other people's stories. Okay, so in other words, does this energy belong to you? Or does this energy belong to me? So when I go into the supermarket, so I'm rejecting it further, but when we go into the supermarket, which is a crazy energy all of its own as well. Everyone's now masked and running around. Some people talk, some people don't. Some people deliberately stand there and go, hello. Um, some people just ignore everyone. Everyone has a different strategy. But when you walk into the supermarket, okay, very important to sort of have, in a way, blinders on, energy clear and energy bubble so you are protected and safe and an awareness you know of, of your field everyone else out there but really kind of put on your protective shield and i like to think of it when i get lost as putting on a uniform you know like i'm bending over so if you can see me uh putting on uh, you know like a one-piece suit and it's my my suit to go out in the world to protect my energy so I can maintain my personal vision, my personal health and wellness, and my vibration at the levels that I want. So say yes if you understand. Uh, do you guys understand? Does this make sense? And any feedback on, on this to date? So when we walk our miracle path, we're going to do it on two levels. We, we do it on the physical. We do it on the spiritual. When we do it on the physical level, guys, very important, yes, to, to pay attention to proper um, hygiene, you know, proper attire, whatever it is that you feel is up to that, cleaning your hands, taking care of yourself. Yes, that's a smart thing to do but energetically, all right, energetically, you, we, we put on that suit and we raise our own personal frequency, just like Tina Marie was saying, that she raised her frequency up to an eight. She moved it up, Suzanne's moving it up. Now you know we're gonna move it all up to a 10 by the time we're done. All right, I see someone else popping on. Hello, 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 it's been a long time. Uh, Madam Cow, very nice to see you. Very nice. Thank you for being here. I wonder why it's not showing up on this browser. I did a lot of things, guys, and got new computers and everything in the last month as well. So thinking things are going to be perfect. Well, they're not quite perfect, but what is perfection? All right. So so in thinking about our our, our miracle path, and how we walk it. And I say that faith, confidence, and belief is the key to inspire us and to keep us going. But what is it keep what's keeping us going is that vision that we have of who we are, that vision that we have of what we're here to do, that vision that we have that guides everything that you would do whether you were paid well for it or not, because it's so you, it's your, your destiny. So perhaps you talk to departed loved ones and you're a medium or you're a caretaker because your energy is one who gives and serves or you're a musician or, you know, a writer or a teacher. We all have different skill sets. And it's so important that we get to develop those skill sets so that we can do what we came here to do. So we are going to do a little meditation on that. Yes, Suzanne, that's right. We, we talked about the humming. So another, another tool to use, and it's fantastic because it doesn't allow anything in. 
is Suzanne's humming technique. And humming technique, do it with me now. First of all, it removes the plugs in your in your um, throat chakra. It also, when you're vibrating, it keeps it keeps you um, pushing outward. So you're not going to be so susceptible to any germs coming inward. And also it does, it sounds really good and it makes you look upbeat and joyous. So as Suzanne says, you will have light conversations with other shoppers. And so knowing what we're here to do, okay, revolves around a lot around those qualities that we have that, that are uniquely us that desire for service, that desire as a caretaker, that desire as a teacher, that desire as a psychic or a medium or an oracle. It's a desire to share our gift with the world. Now, many years, I and I, I'm sure you've heard the story for many years, I didn't know what my, what my gifts were or what my quote vision was. And, and what I was told was just to be me that by being me, I would raise the vibration and the frequency in the room, okay? So I had to practice being me, just like I'm inspiring you to be you. So right now, all right, before we get to the readings, let's do a little meditation about being us and walking our miracle path. So closing your eyes right now and taking a deep breath in. And once more, taking a deep breath in and letting it all out and sending our roots right now down to the center of the earth. Mother, Father, God. We ask just now that we be filled, surrounded, and protected with the light. We ask that we be inspired. We ask that we be filled with wisdom, peace, understanding, and harmony. We ask for clarity as to what our soul journey is here on the planet. We ask for the guidance and the wisdom of our angels, our ascended masters, our spiritual team, those who assist us in becoming more of who we are, those who assist us in walking this miracle path. And we call it a miracle path because under ordinary circumstances, it might never have happened. But because of the way and the gift and the continual abundance of these miracles, we know and we trust that more come to us in every moment. So letting go right now of any fear, any fear, any worry, any anxiety, any lack of courage, knowing that we are protected, knowing that that which our vision has inspired us with is that which Source wants us and shares with us to do. Mother, Father, God, we are just so grateful for the visions that you share with us, for the gifts that you have shown us that are ours, for the understanding that we are here walking our soul path, walking our destiny, and that we are our miracle makers here. We ask right now to have our energy lifted, our frequency to become that which is so strong that we literally become like a beam of radiant light. So as we let go, let go of our fears and let go of anything that keeps us less than, as we let go of anything that says you can't do that, who are you to do that? So the other night, I was working with a dear friend, client of mine, who is working on a big miracle. It is a multi-million dollar miracle. And she has been working on this miracle, well, for the last year, 100%, but since she was five. Because when she was five, she was told she was going to have a multimedia center where she would make media that would raise the vibrational frequency of all of us 
light beings here on the planet and speak to us directly of how we can overcome our limitations and how we can shift the planet and raise its vibrations and heal and, and inspire optimistically walking in a new in a new vibration so she had an opportunity that she created for herself a year ago and it looked impossible because she had to manifest millions of dollars out of nowhere seemingly nowhere but she knew that she was to do this particular project and that she had to do it 100 and that by because spirit ordained her spirit told her this was her destiny that voice of spirit which guides us on this miracle path and so that is one of the key sources of your miracle path is opening yourself to listening to this guidance so we ask right now that you have your ability guys to open the pathway open the doorway so you can connect with your guides you can hear them and in this moment right now we ask that those veils be thin we ask that it be as if you are sitting here as i am in front of this computer with a telephone an old-fashioned telephone on my desk which i'm imagining because i don't have it and and i am dialing i pick it up and i dial to heaven Heaven, please, we ask right now that you share your wisdom with us. So asking right now that this connection be for all of us, that your miracles be granted, that that which you came here to do, understanding, guys, that you would not have those visions of who you are unless you received them from source. And if you received them from source, and here you are questioning them, and yet you receive them from Source. So Source wants you to know that you were chosen to do you because only you can do you effectively. So walking the miracle path requires you to do you. And what is you? You is doing those special skills that only you have. You is walking and listening to that vision, those, those ideas, those visions that you were given this lifetime. Does that make sense? Guys, does that make sense? So we get to this again. What is your vision? Tina Marie, what is your vision? Suzanne, Vanessa, what are your visions? Because if you share that, then when I read those cards for you, which I'm about to get ready to do, we know what they are. So if you want a reading, let's do it this way tonight. You say, yes, I want a reading. And my vision for me is, because then when we speak and we pull your card, you what we can speak directly to that vision now that shouldn't be too hard all right and i'll start i'll start myself off you know that my vision here has always been to heal and inspire and to help each and every one of you to live your truth to align your body mind and spirit to hear the voice of your guides so that you can do what you came here to do and why do i care I'll tell you why I care, my love, because if you do what you're here to do, it will make it very easy for me to do what I came here to do. And those people who have been waiting for you to do it so that they can heal will be healed. So who wants that? Okay. And yes, Deborah, your vision is your health. Oop, I just did that. And I want to share this with you. And then a little bit later, I will share that one thing that I have been doing for my own health, which has been very, very interesting. And I never actually thought that I would share this. Okay. And so guys, by the way, if you're watching this, if you just tuned in, I am asking everyone to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm doing more and more videos, very specific videos on YouTube 
for instance, you could, I just don't know why this won't go up. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this was, okay, well, this was for today, but all right, let's get this back. And we're going to do this one. Oh, yeah, there it is. Connect with your angels. So you can find that on the YouTube channel very specifically. And, and I'm going to be curious to know how you like these videos because they're short, they're sweet, they're under 10 minutes, but they're very, very juicy. Okay. So that's, that's what I've been doing since I saw you last. Okay. So what working with Deborah, let's hide this so you can see me again. And I just want to say thank you for being here again tonight, all of you. So I want to also remind you, it's very important to believe in your vision. It's very important to have confidence. So I was about to tell you about my dear friend client the other night. She was in deep despair. It's been an uphill battle. This woman has chutzpah like I've never seen, and she has not given up, and she's gone after the other side and gotten concessions and then concessions and then concessions. And um, she was, she was collapsed, you know, it's like, oh, Joan, oh, no. And she was collapsed. And I reminded her about faith, confidence, and belief. I reminded her that she wouldn't have had this vision unless spirit, unless her guides were right there with her, wanting her to do that. So I'm reminding of you all this tonight. Deborah, your guides want you to have health, okay? Harmander, cow, yes, your guides, your vision is to be a good healer. Your guides want that for you. Source wants that. Your angels want that for you. There is a, a guide and a goddess, a being that has instilled this within you to ask for that. And so this is all very real. So when we say, well, I don't know if I deserve it, then we're actually saying, well, I don't trust my angels. I don't trust my visions. I don't trust God. I don't trust source. I don't trust she who knows all, okay? Whatever we call that higher power. So it's in our faith, confidence, and belief that we reaffirm all is real. So we had this very powerful session. And I, I guess I call it a boot camp, a spiritual boot camp, because by the time she was done, she had that laugh. She felt better. She, she felt happy. She confirmed her own actions, that they were the right actions. She was able to go to bed in peace. And when she woke up in the morning, there was an amazing email that literally changed the game. It was a, it's been a game changer. And honestly, she was at the 11th hour. So for any of you who have been at that 11th hour know that transformation can happen. Miracles can happen. So faith, confidence, and belief. Let that be. Let that be your mantra to know, okay? Now, we're going to start, my loves, with my dear friend, Deborah. Nope, nope. I think there was one above. Oh, yeah. Okay. Deborah. Good. Good, good, good. And it is really nice to see you. And as I said, I'm going to be taking this down in 48 hours. So share it out now because it is going to go down and then I'll have it up on YouTube. So please find it. That's why YouTube is continuing to move around like that. All right. So I think we can take Welcome to Miracle Monday down. I'm experimenting without my glasses. Hide. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. You know, these little, these little touches. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I have a few other things to tell you um, about my art, by the way. This painting behind me is a is the um, twin flame couple, the sacred, the sacred couple. It's a, a true love from from the beginning of time. And this is being auctioned off on Thursday. And that is being all of the art is being auctioned off at this particular. Let's see if this is it. Show item being auctioned off on this group. 
Okay, so my dear friend Sheena Kelly Ensign is holding these auctions every Thursday from four to six and raising fundraising for, for several charities and groups. And this is how you can join that auction. So go over there, join it, and then we'll be live Thursday, four to six. So you actually get to come in the studio and see a lot of art, original art. And even if you're not ready to purchase the art, it's still a sort of a really blessed thing to, to be a part of it. All right, so that's beautiful. All right, going back up here. Good, I like that you're giving me clues. So, so Deborah Hun, with your health and a vision for your health, and regarding the cards, I just ordered new decks. So they'll be here in the sanctuary. Well, they're behind everything too. I'm gonna to consider it lucky if they're here in the first week of September. Okay. So for Deborah, asking the angels about her health and knowing that she is being guided. So there'll be more signs for you, honey. They say that, that you've been given some clues. The time to move forward is now and to follow new signs. So I'll show you this. I'm going to post a link to this also. Let's see if I can figure out how to post a link. This is so Sheena came last month, drove me crazy. She's very high energy. She's a lovely, beautiful, high angel. And um, she want, she took this. She was very ill. She took this. Her health improved. She wanted me to take it. I fought with her because I said, I don't take anything. Don't do this to me. That's horrific. Um, I don't, you know, and I was really mad at her. But she ordered me all these bottles and I started taking it. And honest to goodness, one of the ways I know I'm better, they call it a cell signaling supplement. Uh, one of the ways I know I'm better, believe it or not, is that, let's see if I put a link up to it. Oh, I did put a link up to it. Okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. One of the ways I know I'm better is that I'm in the desert and it's 110 every day. And even though I'm in an air conditioned home, I go outside. So the whole morning I was out until about two and just being here, it doesn't matter. You can still be home and have heat stroke. So that's been my usual in the summer. I know I, d I determine my health and wellness by whether or not I suffer. And so I did start taking this 10 days ago and, um, and, and that has definitely improved. So I will say that. And I've heard some remarkable healing stories. So Deborah, I want you to write that down. That's my, my link. And the reason I want you, um, and then we can talk about it. But, but for anyone who has health challenges, this stuff is really good. And there's nothing that's bad. It's actually sea, sea water, sea salt and water. And it harmonizes with your body in such a way that I have been healing, hearing miracle stories of balance. So I'm recommending it at least to my friend Deborah because I know her energy. But Heaven's Path, honey, is, is a healing path for you. Your way is clear. Time to move forward and follow the signs. And so, um, yes. So reach out to me and we can talk about this. But but whatever that is that's in front of you, and this is for everyone. So the time to move forward is now. There is no point waiting. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself in an abyss because the time, time isn't moving in a lot of ways. It's just sort of passing by. So personal transformation Personal initiation is really the key here to your own, my own, the community own transformation because we just can't let it all pass by. So people ask me my beliefs and I think kids should go back to school. Uh, kids don't learn so well on Zoom and I don't learn so well sometimes on Zoom either. So I miss humans. I don't know about you. I miss humans.
I miss that contact. You know, sometimes I'll find myself ready to, you know, I'll see someone at the store and it's like, oh, Robin. And then, oh my God. So you can't, so I do, but that's just me. So moving forward and perhaps this card is for all of us, you know, finding our way to move forward. What do we need to do? Understanding that actually change is very slow. It is not going to happen at rapid speed right now because everything has slowed down. The mail has slowed down. Food supplies have slowed down. Um, everything. So we pace ourselves, but you make sure you're achieving one thing on your path today that furthers your vision, furthers your mission, or isn't aligned with what you came here to do. Because that's your juice. That's what sustains you. That's what sustains you when you reach the 11th hour, you know, the, the darkness before the dawn, when all has been given up. And then you have to go into prayer and meditation and you go, God, show me the way, you know, show me what it is you want me to do and, and make it clear so I can move forward. And so for my friend, Sheena, who was at, uh, you know, half a death's door, she was really fragmented and, and, and just stress overstressed. She started taking it and she started grounding. And before you know it, she came up with some brilliant business plans, including this new group that I showed you, the Give and Grow group, and she's now auctioning the art. So that, that's kind of exciting. Not kind of. It is exciting. Things are exciting. So that was for my dear friend, Deborah. Okay. Moving down. Moving down, moving down. All right, Car. So your vision is to be a good healer, good intuition, and psychic abilities. So so is there anything stopping you? Because I get that you're pretty intuitive already. So I, I asked my guides, is she intuitive? Is she psychic? And is she a healer? Now, what I did hear for you is that actually it's a matter of trusting and trusting what you hear. Okay. So I hear on my right and and I, I trust it now because I've learned after thousand readings or so that that I'm accurate. It's right. It, it respond. The person has a confirmation, and as bizarre as that flash might be, it's totally resonant for my client. So that's now okay. How do you get there? And uh, you can always book a session with me to to learn how. But I get there. I started the first thing I ever did to learn how to get there was, well, honestly, guys, I'm just, I'm just allowed to tell you right now to clear your mind, let go of anything, any fear that's in your way. Okay. Cause that's the most important thing. So when we say, I want to, um, to be a good healer, I want to have good intuition and, and psychic abilities. Spirit says that you will have to embrace them as now I already have great psychic abilities. I am a great healer. I am an amazingly gifted intuitive. So step one for you, my love, is to tell yourself this over and over and over. Okay. I am an amazing healer. People love my healings. So in the beginning, and I still do this, there are days that I just go, I'm an amazing healer. As a matter of fact, I'll do it so much that I'll get phone calls. And people say, well, I heard you were an amazing healer. So if you want that to happen, you're the first one who has to affirm it. Okay. So what are we going to pull for you? That's going to confirm this. 
So it says you deserve to succeed and go for it. So a lot of my art is always about the journey, the, the soul journey, where we're going and our destination. And yes, they say your destination lies ahead. You deserve to succeed. Go for it. Make sense? Your destination. So again, we say my destination lies ahead. I deserve to succeed. I am going for it. Okay. I am going for it. All right. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Good. All right. So. All right. So we're going to move down. And um, Suzanne, Suzanne, sweetheart, my current vision for my health. So in working with our current vision for our health, we want to see ourselves as a 10. That's the most important thing. And we always like to ask what emotional blocks keep me from being well. So knowing all that, we're going to pull a card. Okay. And knowing, I can't believe it, but that this might be a cure all for many things. That might be a solution too. Okay. But the vision for your health is I am healthy, wealthy, and happy. Every day and every way, I'm getting better and better. My body works perfectly. I'm removing anything less than, than perfection in my body. Now, sometimes our emotions cause problems. So we say, my emotional body is healed. My spiritual body is healed. My physical body is healed. In all ways, I am healed. I am whole. I am loved. And you pulled the red fire goddess who, uh, you know, I tell everyone there's a little ship up there. The red fire goddess will burn away your impurities. She'll burn away your emotional trauma. She'll burn away anything that keeps you from moving forward with grace and ease. Okay? So, repeat after me. I wish I could hear you. I move forward with grace and ease. 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 Um, while I'm at it, I want to tell everyone that I am going to be in Santa Fe next week. I arrive in Santa Fe on um, Saturday night, so I'll be doing an event on Sunday at a place called, let's see if I can do this now, called Elements of Eden. I'm going to put it up there, Elements of Eden. And my dear friend is probably on her Facebook page, and it's on my page. And I'll post it back up there again. Can you see it? No. Now you can. Elements of Eden? No. Elements of Eden in Santa Fe. There. <clears throat> I, I didn't put the capitals in. I'm sorry. So Elements of Eden is her shop. It's a brand new shop. And she has a, she is a, an extraordinary healer and she does, she makes her own essential oils and tinctures as well. And she has a Joan of Angels corner. So I said, well, why don't I fly? Not remembering how, you know, difficult flying is. I said, well, why don't I come in and we just uh, connect with everyone. So we're going to be doing a program on Thursday night and I'll put details up because we will live stream it connect with your angels and guides. Okay. And I will live stream that. Okay. Come on, go down again, hide. So that's where I'm going to be next week. And we will do Miracle Monday together. Okay. All right. So knowing that you're walking, you know, your destination lies ahead for her. And here we go for Burning away, Suzanne, anything that's less than perfection. I move forward with grace and ease, okay? And I hope that helps. Hope that helps. Hope that helps. Hi, Linda Kay. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. And by the way, guys, 
I do these shows on my Joan of Angels shop page. So it always helps if you haven't liked it to like that page, Joan of Angels shop. All right. So you get the interdimensional gateway, the portal, portal to new beginnings and inter interdimensional gateway. You should know that the veils are thinner right now. So accessing information, wisdom, healing, direction, clarity is in the cards for you right now, harmony and balance for you. And it's possible for you to be vibrationally aligned as well. So this is actually very, very good. It says that, that this is a good time for you. Harmony and balance is something that we all are seeking. And so as you achieve that, it'll be easier for you to walk your own miracle path, my dear. Okay. So hoping that helps. And always let me know if it helps, if it doesn't, and how it resonates for you. Why? Because as an intuitive and as an oracle, we always want confirmation school. All right. Oh, and by the way, is there anyone here who would like to have an oracle night where a, it would be a paid program where I teach you my tricks, my oracle tricks and tools? Okay. Um, that would be fun. I should write that down because I'm trying to figure out exactly what to teach. Good. Now, that was for our dear friend, Linda Kay. So, Vanessa, honey, I want to clear my energy for a second. That's one way to change energy rapidly. All right, Vanessa. So um, for you to help others as the healer you are and to continue to see your angels and your visions, Mother, Father, God, we really ask that you be allowed to continue on this journey, that you continue to have clarity, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, this is the one. Archangel Michael has come removing all obstacles to your path. And he says, as you release all that no longer serves, okay, your path becomes clear. So as you release all that no longer serves, your path becomes clear. I think that's pretty awesome. All right. That's very telling. So what kinds of things no longer serve? Worry, burden, fear. Uh, fear that you're not worthy feel that you're not good enough. Um, other people's problems, sometimes they get in our way. So trust that those visions you have are meant for you, okay? So I hope that helps Vanessa and I'm happy you're here too. Oh, and there is my dear friend, Canella. And hello, 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 Canella. And uh, Smiles back to you and Canella Hunt on your path, which is actually one of one of Canella's paths is, is really of being service of service to humanity, to her friends. And so I'm honoring you by by sharing this card with you, honey. And it's the gratitude angel. Well, I'm grat I'm grateful for you, but I'm also Gratitude, you know, it's who are we grateful for, guys? You know, who's keeping us sane? And uh, how are we managing? So gratitude is who do we love, who do we appreciate, who do we admire, and who are we grateful for and share our joy. So, uh, Canela, upping up your gratitude and also receiving gratitude from people like me who are very happy and grateful and uh, you are an angel of your own kind. So that's for her. And for Tina Marie. Well, Tina Marie is a special friend. And when Tina Marie says she needs cutting cords of what is no longer needed, all right, there's lots of heavy energy. I see the heavy energy not just around 
um, you or where you're working, but I also see it out in the world around. And so it's cutting cords that are no longer needed for our personal and our community. I hope that makes sense. So actually, Tina Marie, boy, oh boy. Okay, well, I want to go back to Archangel Michael and bring him back in here because he's the big cojones. You know, he's got, he's, he's got the big sword. And he says to me to remind all of you to carry that big sword wherever you go right now. And, uh, okay, you can really to carry it with you when you go in the market, carry it with you when you go in a crowd, carry it with you to protect you because things are very uncertain and the energy out there is very heavy. We're not talking the virus. We're talking about thought forms that are fear, thought forms that are, are panic, uh, worry, control, losses. So we must protect ourselves, okay? So the card for you, well, I guess they want you to use Archangel Michael's sword, but in pulling a card for you, they say you're on the path of the initiate. So remember that spirit is guiding you in all ways to courageously step and take a new step into your destiny to a higher level. So during this pandemic, it's an opportunity for many of us to serve in a way we have never shown up. So for instance, I did my 30 day um, challenge. Well, it's challenged me, you know, and many of you loved it. It upped my vibration, it upped your vibration. And that was something new, not, and it was in my miracle path because it's very aligned with me. It's aligned with my tribe and you guys, because people loved it. So walking your, your path, I am being guided by spirit to courageously step into my destiny. I want everyone on the call to repeat that with me. I am being guided by spirit. I am being guided by spirit to courageously step into my destiny, to courageously step into my destiny. These affirmations change our DNA structure. That's all I can tell you. So Tina Marie, I hope that helped, honey. And uh, let me know. All right. So, all right. So, so I'm not, sorry. Oh, I always have problems with this, but tutu. I love that part. That's so easy. And I would love to do a reading with you. Where are you from? Please let us know. I would like that, hon. Good. Good, and I see right now people are affirming, got it. Awesome about Miracle Monday from Santa Fe. Yes, I didn't think I was going to do it, but yes, uh, Antonia and I will do it, and we'll be right in her shop. You will love it. Okay, uh, I'm looking at some of the comments. Okay, I'm going back up to Tutu. Hi, sweetheart. All right, yes, happy day to you too. And don't forget to let me know where you're from and what your vision is. What is your vision, hon? Okay. Ah, okay. So Adana came and she's hot. She says, all right, radiate beauty from the inside out. And that's how miracles occur. Miracles occur whenever we set our intention. And by the way, guys, everything here is part of that miracle path. All of these cards. If I laid them out in a new way, they're the miracle path. So specifically, Tutu, is really beginning to radiate your light, radiate your beauty, trust in that, trust in your wisdom, and then know that miracles manifest wherever I set my intention. Where do miracles manifest, guys? Wherever I set my intention. Where? Wherever I set my intention. Miracles manifest. So look at this. I'm going to give you all a miracle pill. Okay? And give you the little story. But stay with me for a few minutes because I want to really give you all the details of everything that's happening. Okay? Um, oh, so really interesting says I've been live for 35 minutes on my cell phone, but I 754, I've had to have been live for 54 minutes. Gonna make me crazy. Okay. 
Now, if we do this and we shake them up a little bit and we start all over and go, okay, guys, these days are the crazy times. Crazy meaning that the world is going through a reboot and this is our initiation. How we master it, how we handle it is going to be the key to where we end up. And we've asked for this initiation. It's, it's a spiritual initiation to your next level of what they call ascension. Okay. Your next level on heaven's path. So we are all of us, especially you guys who are working with me and who join us are on a, a higher frequency path. Okay. Going through the interdimensional gateways where it's easier to connect with our intuition, easier to connect with um, intuition. And Archangel Michael is cutting away anything that's in our way, of which we are grateful for, just so you know, knowing that we are moving forward our, with grace and ease, with beauty, with a consciousness, with mindfulness, so that miracles are manifesting wherever we set our intention and our destination is ahead and we all deserve to succeed. So guys, the miracle manifesto for tonight is that each of you deserves to succeed. Yes, you are walking your miracle path and we deserve to succeed. So we deserve to go for it. Our destination lies ahead. So guys, I hope you've been enjoying the show. Uh, talked about a lot of things for the Miracle Path. I am um, getting really excited to start offering up some master classes to you. And I'll let you more know more about them. But meanwhile, join me on Thursday if you're interested in, let's see, in the art. Okay, if that is something you're interested in, then look for the Give and Grow community. I'll give you a second to write that out. Facebook.com groups backslash Give and Grow. Okay, if you are interested in what I told you about this product that I can swear has actually helped my, my heat exhaustion, then this is your link. And you can actually sign up, buy it, make a business out of it. People do all sorts of things with it. Right now, I'm using it for healing. My friend Sheena's using it for healing. And um, some other chiropractors I know are going to be using it. Okay. If you... Oh, yeah. I have my new website. So if you want to book a reading, go, go on over there, joanofangels.com, guys. All right. So I'm very excited you all joined me. Thank you so much. I will be back with you next Monday, 7 p.m. And as I said, this will be up for 48 hours. Share it with your friends and then it's going to be down. And that only, only available up on YouTube. So have a blessed and beautiful day. And I just thank you all for being live. Up, up, up. I just took one more peek. One more peek. All right, Maria. Maria. You are not too late for a card, but you have to do the same thing. You have to say, where are you from? And you have to give us your um, vision. And thank you, Tutu. I thought, I think I remembered you were from Australia. Your vision is peace and love. Yes, it is. And didn't we pull that card, Beauty Radiates from the Inside Out? Aha. Yes, we did. Okay, so for Maria, uh, I'm looking to see where you're from, hon, and your vision for you. If you can share that with us, it would give you a little bit better experience. Oh yeah. And another thing new is that I now have a desk in my office and that's where we are now. New York City. Oh goodness. So Maria, I want to encourage you to listen to the beginning of this. We talked about how to protect yourself in, in, you know, energies that are going on everywhere that are a little bit crazy now. But for you, sweetheart, you are being protected by Mother Mary, the divine heart of compassion. And we're hearing this, this is about the 10th time today. It said, be kind to yourself, be kind to yourself, be kind. You are perfect exactly where you are.
are. So we've been talking about the miracle path guys. And so people say, well, where am I on my soul path on my path of mastery? And oh my God, I need to do go faster, slower or whatever. Just know you're at the perfect place right now. Okay your perfect place and holding that vision of world peace, remembering world peace begins with our own inner calm and inner peace. So your guides are saying that they love you. You're perfect the way you are. And um, we're going to hold that vision with you of world peace. So dearest angels, mother, father, God, we're just so grateful to be with you guys. Once again, miracle Mondays, 2020, that we can really help shift the planet into world peace, world peace for each and every one, world peace for the world, world peace for the globe, world peace for our country. So may we all come to peace here. And I love you all so much and so grateful and see you all next week. Oh yeah, but please check out my YouTube channel and comment if you would. I really want to know if you like these videos, especially the connect with your angels and the walk your your path ones. And I just spend so much time on them and it would be wonderful if you like them and if you subscribe to them, that would really help me. All right, love you, love you and have a blessed and miraculous week.